Welcome to Trading Lounge and the gold, silver, dollar yield report for Wednesday, uh, August the 11th. And just looking at the yields here, this is a four hour chart. And um, as you may uh, recall, um, we're looking at wave A up here and wave B here and then up for wave C. So within this structure here, we're looking for a simple um, a, excuse me, A wave, B wave in orange, and then down here for the C wave in five waves of one and two and three and four and five uh, for, for that. So we're heading up here at the moment in wave C of four. So an A wave here and a B wave here. And yes, and then the C wave here. So this move down through here hasn't been as five waves. It's been in three waves. So it's a, this is in also in three waves up here as well. So we've got three, three, five uh, here. So we've got a sort of flat correction that's just about finished. You can see the length of the third, third wave. Um, within that space there so we're very close to a top there which also would be in line with the us dollar index as well so we've just changed rearranged this count slightly here so uh on the four hour chart we've got wave three here with wave four over here and there's definitely a corrective pattern here and then we're coming down for wave b so an a and a b and a c wave uh here for that and just looking at this as wave one and two here and five waves up for this third and fourth here and this fifth here. So in this case here, we've got one and two here and then we've got one and two and three and four. And five. So we're at the top of the third. We still need the top of the third to come in place, then a fourth and then a fifth wave up here. So we've got a little way to go with this. So that's going to still apply some pressure for gold until this moves over. And of course, we've got the tapering situation um, uh, in the US as well, they're having a chat about that uh, today, tomorrow, tonight, whatever that is. Um, so bear that in mind as well. And that's why the indices, the DAX and I mean, the um, the S&P and the NASDAQ are stalling where they are in that 15 point range. And uh, silver here. Um, yeah, I just start with silver. We've got this count here where we've got the A wave here the A, the B, and the C for the B wave, and one, two, three, four, five here for this. So we've probably got a low in here, um, but I still need to double check on that, which I haven't, just haven't had time, but um, we're close to that. So in terms of going long here, just in a general sense, uh, that $25 is a medium level so the next time or if that becomes the support then we can go along from that point or otherwise um we need to see a decent structure within within this uh with this move uh here first like an imp pulse wave to the upside five waves to the upside then we can buy the pullback but i'm not sure we're going to get that uh i don't think it's going to be that easy if if gold's involved in this particular pattern in some sort of relationship there so looking at gold here i'm still um quite happy with this as a wave four uh in play at the at this stage and with that in mind, we can, I mean, this is a bit of a long shot here as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave and ending here and going straight up from there. But it's possible because you can count as one and two in here and three here and four here and five here. A bit of a long shot, like I said, but otherwise we'd be looking at a, continuing with the triangle pattern of the A, the B, the C, the D and the E here. So let's just go in and have a look at this. This is a weekly chart. So... There's a couple of ways this triangle here could play out uh, in simple terms. So from this wave B to the C here, then the 61, 50, 60% retracement level from that B to that C here is roughly uh, here somewhere. We can figure that out in a moment. That B to C here, uh, that 50, 61 is, is just here. So it's possible that we've got the A wave in already and then we're looking for the B wave here, and then the C wave would come in over here, and we could put that D wave over here, so to speak. Um, or this is going to get a little bit more complicated uh, here. So I think we can go to maybe here. 
So in this way, it will play out with the A wave here, the B wave here, the C wave here for the A wave, then the B wave, and then the C wave over here for the D. And once we've got that in play here, somewhere there, then we can start on this section here, this ABC pattern here for this of wave E of four here. So, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on, on this. Um, obviously, if this low gets taken out, then we're in a, in a bigger, uh, bearish, uh, picture for, for this market, which would, we need to have a look at it. Of course, we can't stick our head in the sand, which would be like this then, which would be one and two here and one and two and three. And this wave here would be the fourth wave coming into play with the third here and so on, like this here. So we just need to give it a little bit of time to see how it all, you know, plays out a little bit. But either way, this wave four here is not finished. So it's either going to finish here or it's going to be placed over here as in that triangle pattern that uh, just mentioned like this here as an A, B, C, D and E here and then up from that point. So that's really about it in a nutshell. We've just got to give this some time to see how it plays out. And um, yeah, so the first move up here, by the way, um, that first move up here, I can count that as five waves on the on the tick chart. OK, so uh, we should be seeing some sort of ABC here. What degree of structure that's going to be is is questionable and we just need to um, allow it to unfold. But uh, in the meantime, we should see uh, this market uh, stay above this current low here as well. <coughs> Alrighty, um, yeah, that's it. I'll just keep it that simple for today. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.